Getting started with the Pedal Point Duet is easy, especially if you use an online music notation application such as NoteFlight. There's also a, a traditional application uh, from the makers of Finale called Notepad that's great as well. I'm going to go ahead and start with my uh, rhythm on the uh, Do or the resting note of the key. And uh, this is going to be an ostinato uh, on which the whole piece will be based. Okay, once I get that, I can use Note Flight has a, a key command R for repeating. I'm just going to repeat that throughout the whole piece, uh, at least to get my first eight measures or so going. And then I'm going to uh, come up with the top part that has to start and end on Do. So let's just use an arch shaped um, melodic uh, contour. Uh, really simple here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and repeat that. Remember, it has to start and end on Do. Here, though, um, I'm going to use it going up uh, by step. That's the arch uh, contour, which is used frequently in music. Uh, once I get um, that arch, I could play around with it a little bit. Like, for instance, right here, I'm sort of dwelling at the top of the arch uh, before I finally come down uh, to Do. Let's just listen to that. Okay, now we've got the basics of the piece here. Uh, depending on how uh, proficient the student is, uh, feels comfortable working with this, or maybe has some instrumental experience or some other uh, writing activity experience in class, uh, there's a lot more that can be done. But for the most basic uh, student, this is, this is already starting to take shape. We've got a duet. It sounds pleasant. It starts and ends on do. We've got a contour. Uh, but this is where, uh, as a coach, as a teacher, you can teach some music or you can get kids to reflect on uh, using some devices musically. So for instance, uh, besides adding things like articulations and dynamics, which are definitely would help the piece become more expressive, um, something that I tell students is sometimes in your cadence the rhythm increases. So perhaps here uh, we would uh, add a second note in this measure and have the rhythm increase. Another thing is we might double the um, rhythm somewhere. So for instance, at the very end, just for emphasis, maybe instead of having that top note just uh, rest on Do, maybe we will copy and paste the bottom part and have them both have the same rhythm at the end. Let's just uh, listen to the effect of that. those uh, few musical changes we've made. Finally, for students, especially younger students, it's, it's a lot of fun to um, you know, claim that they've written a piece by writing their name as the composer and um, also to come up with a, an inventive title. Uh, so after working in the minor mode a little bit, maybe a student would think this one is uh, the Spooky Spider um, or any other uh, zany, fun uh, title. Uh, kids usually enjoy that part of the process, at least younger kids. Um, there's so many more things we could do with the pedal point duet.